Hi, Mr. Richards here. Today's lesson is on permutations. Our objective is to find the number of permutations of a set of objects and find probabilities. Our real world link. Colt is planning his Saturday. He wants to mow the grass, go swimming, and do his homework. How many different ways are there to arrange what he wants to do? Fill in the blanks of the organized list below to find all of the possible arrangements of the activities. Well, our first one is already listed for us at mowing, swimming, homework. Well, we could go mowing, homework, and then swimming. And then we have swimming, mowing, homework. Swimming, homework, how about mowing? Homework, blank, blank. Hmm. Well, we could either choose mowing or swimming to go there, and let's just pick mowing. So then our third would be swimming. And then our last option, homework, swimming, and mowing. So just kind of making an organized list again, almost like we did in the beginning of the chapter for our outcomes. Well, how many choices does Colt have for his first activity? Well, he could choose from either mowing, swimming, or homework, so he has three choices. Now, once he has made that choice, how many choices does he have for the second activity? Well, he's made a choice. He's not going to repeat that choice, so now he's down to two choices for the second activity. And for the, after the first and second activities are selected, he's got one activity left, so there's only one choice left for the third activity. And to bring in the fundamental counting principle, where we would just multiply three times two times one here, you can also see where we have six outcomes. So three times two times one is also six. And that's what we're dealing with today. Our key concept today is find a permutation. A permutation is an arrangement or listing of objects in which order is important. Again, that really is important. Order is important. You can use the fundamental counting principle to find the number of permutations. So as we look at a guided example one, Julia is scheduling her first three classes. Her choices are math, science, and language arts. Use the fundamental counting principle to find the number of different ways Julia can schedule her first three classes. Well, let's think about the first class. How many choices does she have? Well, three. For the second class, how many choices does she have? Two. How many choices does she have for her last class? One. And if we multiply three times two times one, we get six. So there's six possible arrangements or permutations of the three classes. In guided example two, an ice cream shop has 31 flavors. Carlos wants to buy a three scoop cone with three different flavors. How many cones could he buy if the order of the flavors is important? Well, there's 31 choices for that first scoop, 30 choices for the second scoop, and 29 choices for the third scoop. So if we multiplied 31 times 30 times 29, we would get 26,970 different cones for his triple scoop ice cream. Sounds good on a warm day like this. On our got it questions, in how many ways can the starting six players of a volleyball team stand in a row for a picture? Well, we have for the first spot, we have six different players. For the second spot, we're down to five different players. For the third spot, we're down to four players that could be there then three players, then two players, and that last spot, there's just one person left to fill that. So again, we have six 
choices for the first spot, then five, four, three, two, and one. And if we multiply these numbers together, six times five times four times three times two times one, we would end up with 720 different ways the team can stand in a row for a picture. So 720 is our answer for A. What about B? In a race with seven runners, how many different ways can the runners end up in first, second, and third place? Well, this is just a little bit of a twist from A. We only have first place, second place, and third place. So how many different runners can end up in first place? Well, seven. How many different runners could then end up in second place? Six. How many different runners could end up in third place? Five. And if you multiply seven times six times five, you end up with 210. There's 210 different ways a runner can end up in first, second, and third place. Anything lower than third, you're out of luck. The symbol P31,3 represents the number of permutations of 31 things taken three at a time. And so the way we're going to solve a problem that looks like this is we'll start with the 31, and we're taking three at a time. So 31, then 30, then 29. If you think back to our runner's example, we had, or it could have been written as P of seven different, but taken just with three. I mean, that ended up being seven times six times five. I mean, if you think back to our got it B. So when we look to find P eight comma three, the permutation of eight things taken three at a time, that would be eight times seven times six, which is 336. So now as we look to see if we got it, the permutation of 12 things taken two at a time, this would be 12 times 11, which is 132. In D, the permutations four things taken four at a time, four times three times two times one. So we're starting with that first number and we're going out this many times. So one, two, three, four times. We're starting with this number, 12, and going out two times 12 and 11. And four times three times two times one is 24. Then in E, we're starting with 10 and going out five times. So 10, nine, eight, seven, and six. That's one, two, three, four, five numbers. And 10 times nine times eight times seven times six is 30,240. Now how can we apply all of this to then find probability? Permutations can be used when finding probabilities of real-world situations. So in our Got It example 4, Ashley's MP3 player has a setting that allows the songs to play in a random order. She has a playlist that contains 10 songs. What is the probability that the MP3 player will randomly play the first three songs in order? Well, first find the permutation of 10 things taken three at a time or P parentheses 10 comma 3. Well, that would be 10 times 9 times 8, which is 720. So there are 720 different ways to play the first three songs. Since you want the first three songs in order, there is only one, one way to do that out of the 720. So the probability the first three songs will play in order is one out of 720. So first we found how many different outcomes there were, 720. And there's only one way to do it, so that's why it was 1 over 720. So as we move on now to our guided example 5 
a swimming event features eight swimmers. If each swimmer has an equally likely chance of finishing in the top two, what is the probability, probability that Yumi will be in first place and Paqueta in second place? Well, the first step is going to be finding how many different outcomes we can have. So first find the permutation of eight things taken two at a time, or permutation parentheses eight comma two. That's eight times seven, so that's 56 different arrangements or permutations of the first two places. Since there's only one way of having Yumi come in first and Paqueta coming in second, the probability of this event is 1 56th. Now let's see if we've truly got it. Two different letters are randomly selected from the letters in the word math. What is the probability that the first letter selected is M? and the second letter is H. Well, our first step is going to be to find the, comp the permutations. So, we're going to have how many different letters? Well, there's four different letters in math. And we're just going to be taking two of them. Four different letters, we're taking two of them. And so this is going to end up being 4 times 3, which is 12. So there's 12 different ways to randomly select two letters from the word math. Now, what is the probability that the first letter selected is M and the second letter selected is H? There's only one way of doing that. And that's only one way out of the 12, so 1 12th is our final answer for this lesson. And that is it for this lesson on permutations. Good luck.